Let's do some verb juggling and accelerate your fluency. Verfehlen is to miss. Verfehlen, to miss. How would you say, I miss? Ich verfehle. How would you say, you miss? Du verfehlst. How would you say, you guys miss? Ihr verfehlt. How would you say, I miss the goal? Ich verfehle das Ziel. How would you say, I miss the topic? Ich verfehle das Thema. How would you say, I miss the ball? Ich verfehle den Ball. You see, den Ball. Why do we say den? Because verfehlen is an accusative verb. So it triggers accusative endings. Actually, it's der Ball, masculine. But the accusative masculine article is der. Sorry, no, not der. The accusative masculine article is den. So we say, ich verfehle den Ball. How would you say, I don't miss the ball? Ich verfehle nicht den Ball. How would you say, I don't miss my goal? Ich verfehle nicht mein Ziel. How would you say, I don't miss my goals? In plural. Ich verfehle nicht meine Ziele. Meine, with an additional E, because it's plural. Die Ziele, meine Ziele. Ich verfehle nicht meine Ziele. How would you say, I never miss my goals? Ich verfehle nie meine Ziele. Nie, for never. Ich verfehle nie meine Ziele. How would you say, I never miss the ball? Ich verfehle nie den Ball. How would you say in the past, I have missed? Ich habe verfehlt. Verfehlt is the participle. It's an unseparable verb, so there's no GE. Fair is an unseparable prefix. Verfehlt is the participle. Ich habe verfehlt. I have missed. How would you say, I've missed my goal? Ich habe mein Ziel verfehlt. Notice, verfehlt, the second verb here, the participle is kicked to the very end. Ich habe mein Ziel verfehlt. How would you say, I've missed the ball? Ich habe den Ball verfehlt. How would you say, you missed your goal? Du hast dein Ziel verfehlt. How would you say, you missed your goals? Du hast deine Ziele verfehlt. How would you say, you missed your goals? this year. Du hast deine Ziele dieses Jahr verfehlt. Dieses Jahr, this year. Das Jahr, so we say dieses Jahr with the S. Dieses Jahr, this year. Du hast deine Ziele dieses Jahr verfehlt. Now you can change this around and say, du hast dieses Jahr deine Ziele verfehlt. 
The key point is to kick the verb at the end. The participle verfehlt is at the end. And du hast, hast is at the second position. Du hast dieses Jahr deine Ziele verfehlt. How would you say, I didn't miss my goals? Ich habe meine Ziele nicht verfehlt. How would you say, I didn't miss my goals this year? Ich habe dieses Jahr meine Ziele nicht verfehlt. I would you say, I didn't miss my goal this year. Ich habe dieses Jahr mein Ziel nicht verfehlt. I would you say, you missed the topic. Du hast das Thema verfehlt. I would you say, you missed the topic in the exam. Du hast das Thema in der Prüfung verfehlt. In the exam, in der Prüfung. Herein triggers dative because it's about wo, where, a position. Die Prüfung, actually feminine, becomes hier der Prüfung because the female dative article is der. So we say in der Prüfung. Du hast das Thema in der Prüfung verfehlt. How would you say, you didn't miss the topic in the exam? Du hast das Thema in der Prüfung nicht verfehlt. How would you say, have you missed the topic in the exam? Hast du das Thema in der Prüfung verfehlt? How would you say, no. I didn't miss the topic in the exam. Nein, ich habe das Thema nicht in der Prüfung verfehlt. Oh, ich habe das Thema in der Prüfung nicht verfehlt. Oh, ich habe nicht das Thema in der Prüfung verfehlt. Great! Next time we'll go through the verb verdienen, to earn. Verdienen, to earn. Like when you earn a lot of money. So here's what I want you to do now. Take this verb now and juggle it around. Build just three simple sentences, saying them out loud. Just three simple sentences. This will take you just one minute. In the next episode, You'll hear my take on this verb. So talk to you soon. Bis bald. Are you a busy professional who neither has the time, nor the patience, nor the energy to attend traditional language school classes at night or weekends? Then you're in the right place. Click the link in the description below and get my free German podcast course that will help you boost your confidence in speaking in less than three months, spending just 10 minutes a day while commuting to work.